In Denmark right now, a really big discussion is about courts um, and whether you should allow religious symbols in courts. And of course, what we really mean is should we allow the Muslim veil? That, that's what we're actually talking about. Yeah. Now, uh, for instance, in I spoke to some uh, uh, lawyers and, and judges in Britain, and they all say, yeah, well, why not? So, you know, they won't get it anyway. You know, it's, it's such a long process to become a judge anyway. Uh, um, and you know, you they're veiled, saying, you veiled judges. You're talking about? Well, and, as, as a principle. As well, a principle, well, you can't see the person who's uh, judging you. Uh, um, you, you, for, 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 you. You could have a sick hat, or you could have whatever uh, uh, symbols. But what if you could see the person? It was just they were partly veiled. Would, would that be wrong? That would be wrong. I want to see the person who's judging me if I'm in court. And I think there's a there's a point at which, you, look, I come from a, a an aspect of Muslim culture in which every single woman in my family fought against the idea of the veil. You know, they they believed as I believe, that it oppressed women, uh, that it was constructed because of a very bizarre idea of sexuality, which is that, you know, for men to gaze upon the faces and hair of women would inflame them sexually, and somehow that would be the people you have to punish for that are the women, you know, by putting them in a kind of bag. You know, you, you can't live in a world in which half the human race walks around in a bag. Um, it's, it's not okay. And as I say, the world is full of believing Muslim women who have spent their lives fighting against this. Um, and why don't we listen to the best face of Islam rather than the most conservative reactionary face of it, you know? And no, it's not okay.